2020, the Leadership and Service Awards were held virtually due to the COVID pandemic and university restrictions. But tonight, we are back. With limited participation and practicing COVID precautions, we are still so excited that we can gather together to celebrate student success and their achievements. So without further ado, let me officially welcome you to the 25th Student Affairs Leadership and Service Awards. Award recipients, this event is for you tonight. I hope you all enjoyed your dinner. I'd like to thank Chef Michael and Sodexo for their catering services. Let's, that's right, Dr. Hurley, let's give Sodexo and their entire staff a round of applause. I would like to introduce you to some special guests with us this evening. We will start right there with Mr. Applause himself, Tarleton's 16th President and First Lady, Dr. James and Kendall Hurley. <laughs> student Body President and Texas A&M Student Regent, Mr. Kalen Cheatham. Steve and Sherry Trogdon. Steve is the son of the late W.O. and Flo Trogdon, and Dr. Trogdon served as our 12th president. We're so glad you all are here tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Laura Helvey Mason, professor and assistant vice president for student affairs with her spouse, Mr. Dean Mason. <laughs> Dr. Scott, Scott Blackwell, executive director for Residence Life, and his spouse, Dr. Cindy Blackwell. A special recognition tonight to Dr. Dennis Jones and Dr. Ann Albrecht, longtime friends of student affairs and also Tarleton faculty. <laughs> Vice President Lori Beatty, Chief Financial Officer, and her spouse, Mr. Michael Beatty. <laughs> Dr. Kim McQuistian, Vice President of External Operations and Dean of the Fort Worth campus. And last, a special recognition for Ms. Renee Lane, president of the Tarleton Alumni Association, and her spouse, Mr. Cody Lane. <laughs> to begin this year's award recognition, I would like to call your attention to the back of your program. We will follow the program as printed. Award, award recipients, when your name is called, please enter the stage on the ramp to your right, my left. And when you exit, exit the same way you came. Once you receive your recognition, all award winners will need to report to room 130, right on the other side of that wall, so the Grasper staff can take your picture. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Scott Blackwell, Executive Director for Residence Life, to the stage, along with Dr. Hurley, who will assist with the award presentations. Good evening. Our first award is the Residence Life Exemplary Service Award. Tarleton State University is known for the warmth and friendly reception families and students receive as they visit campus. As one of Tarleton's priorities, Residence Life recognizes a student who demonstrates exemplary service. Someone who welcomes students and their families while finding ways to meet their needs. Someone who shows adaptability and flexibility as environments shift, processes change, and students transform. Someone who finds ways to knock down barriers and methods to improve the quality for our students on campus as they experience Tarleton State University. Tonight, we honor a student who comes from Claiborne, Texas. This student is a junior international business major who has demonstrated valuable work skills by adapting to a new role within residence life. His excellent service, attention to detail, and willingness to learn an entirely new job and process make him an ideal student worker. The person nominating this student describes him as a pioneer. This student worked throughout the mid-February freeze by performing fire safety walks to support safety while systems underwent repair. He has responded at a moment's notice to escort vendors, pick up animal waste on campus, and deliver items to quarantine students. This student communicates issues and concerns, 
proactively to support the student experience. Thank you, Ryan Afflerback, for the exemplary service you demonstrate to our students, their families, and the Department of Residence Life team. Your work is having a positive impact on the work we do. Please join me in recognizing Ryan. Our next award is the Residence Life Program of the Year Award. We describe 2020 as unprecedented, and it has been a time of significant shift in the way we bring students together and create spaces for them to learn from each other. Each year, we receive thousands of gifts in our students, in their ideas, their skills, their talents, and abilities. Our programs are designed to connect students with each other so they can build relationships, share their gifts, and explore. We took some creative license, borrowed from Star Trek, and reworked an intro into how residence life programs are designed to impact residents. It might go a little something like this. Learning, a community journey. These are experiences within residence life. Our mission, to explore strange new concepts to seek out new people and new ideas, to boldly discover students' fullest potential. 2020 added an even more challenging layer to creating meaningful experiences for students. And the recipient of this award conquered that challenge by finding new ways for our residents to build relationships, explore, and discover new things. Tonight's winning residential program of the year was a treat yourself program series to encourage resident self-care. The program was a two-part event that grew in popularity by the second phase. The student who planned and implemented our residential program of the year is a junior music major from Lampasas, Texas. She is a first year residential leader who meticulously documents her programs and submits evaluations. One of the ways she's built community was to write a personal thank you note to each resident who attended her programs and events. Thank you, Abigail Kistner, for finding a way to build community, provide social interaction while following safety guidelines, and for encouraging the conversations that help us grow. Uh, Abigail, please come forward. Please join me in recognizing her. Final residence, residence Life Awards of the Night are for the Residence Life Leaders of the Year. These two awards recognize two residential leaders, a new residential leader and a returning residential leader, who go above and beyond in their leadership roles on campus. We describe our res residential communities using the flying duck formation to prospective students because there's a lead duck who quacks to encourage the other ducks while they are on their journey. The lead duck also reduces the wind resistance for the other ducks who follow. Our residential leaders are like that in that they lead ducks across campus. Our residential leaders do just that for the long haul during their time at Tarleton. They stick with their residents for the entire academic year, encouraging them to reach their goals, and they help them navigate moments of resistance so they can overcome barriers while on their academic journeys. The residential leader position requires an exceptional balance of skills as these student leaders work to engage residents and build community while also communicating and holding peers accountable for campus guidelines. 
To be recognized for this award, these res residential leaders need to demonstrate excellent administrative skills, the ability to mentor first year and returning students, the ability to encourage students to persist and become involved on campus, all while serving an on-call rotation, responding to incidents at all hours of the day and night, and helping students overcome barriers, resolve conflict, and succeed at Tarleton State. This year's new Residential Leader of the Year is a junior kinesiology major from Temple, Texas, and she has embraced her role as an RL by creating popular programs that other RLs have incorporated into their halls. One example is an upcoming virtual event where students spin an online wheel describing different relationship types. Students will share their experiences of the different relationship types as the wheel lands. She's also built community in an apartment, in an apartment neighborhood by facilitating 17 different individual programs with her residents. This year's returning residential leader of the year is a senior public health major from Midlothian, Texas. This student has gone above and beyond by planning and facilitating additional residential programs to build community within Integrity Hall. She's an advocate for fellow team members by observing needs and using professional skills to identify resolution. She worked to successfully implement multimodal study sessions to encourage student success during this challenging learning environment. She took responsibility to maintain both a face-to-face -face and virtual presence so residents could reach out for support while studying. I'd like to invite our Bria Lewis, our new Residential Leader of the Year, and Jade Smith, our returning Residential Leader of the Year, to the stage to be recognized. Thank you. I, I would now like to invite uh, Tabrucio Lynch to present our next awards. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tibur Selinse. My pronouns are he, him, el, and I serve as the director for the Office of Diversity, Inclusion, and International Programs. Um, and I have with me my assistant director, Suzanne McDonough, who's going to help me tonight. Um, to begin with, the Office of Diversity, Inclusion, and International Programs is committed to celebrating diversity, promoting inclusion, and pursuing equity for the whole Tarleton community. Through advocacy, training, and affirmation, ODIIP supports underrepresented populations on campus and provides services to our international students from over 28 countries. Today is pretty emotional for me to be here because we had to con to students to show up to these awards. Um, some are very busy doing research and some are actually working right now. Um, so I wanted to begin with um, just giving a big thank you, a special thank you from the bottom of my heart to Jaden Owens. Um, this award is given to Jaden Owens, the Leadership Award is given to Jaden Owens for their leadership they exhibited in their involvement with the Office of Diversity, Inclusion, and International Programs. Mr. Owens went above and beyond supporting many organizations they were part of, thus disrupting the thought that leadership is position defined or ascribed. 
than just focusing on their ability to impact change. On that leadership role, Jaden was able to provide advocacy for those student groups, students and groups, and that is something for which the Office of Diversity and Inclusion will ever be thankful. We are grateful for their selfless and, uh, selflessness and commend their ability to see beyond the self. Um, just a quick note, as we were all experiencing COVID, all of, um, as we sent everybody home, Jaden was the first person to step up and was the person who was there not only to serve the office's goal, but also supporting other initiatives on campus. And I cannot ever pay you for that, Jaden. Thank you so much for that. Um, please come to the stage. Good evening, everyone. My name is Suzanne McDonald. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am the assistant director for ODIIP. Um, for some of you who know me, I am not a Texan native. I'm from California, and coming to Tarleton was a very difficult thing for me to leave my family behind. But one of the places that I found family was within ODIIP, and specifically within the organization of Latinx American students. I've been very lucky to be their co-advisor now for two years, so it is with great pleasure that I recognize Gustavo Vasquez for their advancement of equity and their involvement with the Office of Diversity, Inclusion, and International Programs. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting emotional up here. <laughs> During a time of uncertainty, Gustavo's leadership of the Organization of Latinx American Students used the lens of equity to inform all of their practices. He examined barriers for the members of OLAS, prioritized safety above all else for all of the participants. He provided educational experiences on matters of advocacy for other identity-based organizations. And he informed his team about COVID-19 all the way along, dispelling many rumors and misunderstandings amongst his community. His diplomacy and group-oriented decision-making enabled Gustavo to provide a familia feeling for everyone that came into the organization. Gustavo, please come up to accept your award. And now I would like to invite Ms. Lethes Townsford to present the Student Involvement Awards. Good evening. My name is Lethes Towns. I'm the director for the Lance Zimmerman Department of Student Involvement, Tradition, Spirit, and Family Relations. Tonight, we would like to highlight three special students in our department. Uh, within our department, that embodies and, in, and exemplifies the meaning of engagement, connection, involvement, and family connection. This year, Daniel Mendoza, if you would please make your way to the stage. We would like to honor Dan Daniel Mendoza with the Spirit and Tradition Award for his involvement in student organizations, service on student committees, and his valuable contribution to tradition and spirit through the concept of starting a new student engagement program with the athletics program, Purple Rain. Please help me congratulate Mr. Daniel Mendoza. Next. This young man that we are about to award, Mr. Rhett Gore, if you would please make your way to the stage. 
As the recipient of the Student Involvement Award, Rick Gore, he has shown the ability to work outside his comfort zone. This award has been based on building connection and following in fostering relationships with students, faculty, staff at Tarleton State University while narrating the story of Tarleton student engagement through various forms of media. Please help me congratulate Mr. Rhett Gore. He had no clue. Our last award for this evening goes to Ms. Sandra Nava. As Sandra makes her way to the stage, Sandra is the recipient for Funeral Relations Awards. We cannot do our job without Sandra and the relationship she's built with parents. Her contribution to the department's first year online parent family orientation, the implementation of our virtual first Spanish orientation, Please help me congratulate Ms. Sandra Nova. It is our pleasure to recognize these students for all of their time and hard work and dedication that they have contributed to our department. Please give them a big round of applause once more. Now I would like to invite Ms. Hillary Trussell to present the Student Media Awards. My name is Hillary Trussell and I'm the manager of Student Media. Student Media is the home of the Grasper Yearbook, the JTAC Tarleton's official newspaper, and the source, the on-campus print shop. In my role, I have the honor of serving as the advisor of the Grasper and the JTAC, along with my co-advisor, Caitlin Oxford, who's here tonight. It is my pleasure to recognize two distinguished leaders from our department this evening. First, I'd like to like to recognize Hannah Bauman. She is she is the editor in chief of the Grasper. As the editor in chief, she plays an important role of documenting everyone's favorite memories, campus traditions, and historic events. We've had a lot of those this year. Hannah plays an important role in our office as she also leads an incredible team of three associate editors who support her through creating the yearbook and making sure students get yearbooks in their hands. It has been an honor to work with Hannah and watch her lead the Grasper team. If you know Hannah, you know she's a history buff and she is super creative. With those strengths, she made the absolute perfect editor-in-chief for the Grasper. Thank you, Hannah, for your excellent leadership skills and the passion you have put into documenting history at Tarleton State University this past year. I can't wait to get the yearbook you and your team have designed into the hands of students this fall. <laughs> Next, I'd like to recognize the editor-in-chief of the JTAC newspaper, Cassie LeBay. If you are an avid reader of the JTAC newspaper, you may have noticed some amazing changes over the last semester, and that is all thanks to Cassie's creativity and ability to guide her team through reporting great news at Tarleton State University. Very few people have the opportunity to see what goes into getting a newspaper printed, and I will tell you this, print night in a newsroom is like no other. Due to the fast-paced, deadline-driven environment of news, the team is often faced with last-minute challenges before the paper goes to print, and Cassie never fails to turn those stressful last-minute moments into successes. Cassie's ability to see the good in every situation and lead her team through both challenges and successes has brought new light to the JTAC, which we are all very proud of. Cassie, thank you for your dedication, perseverance, and excellent leadership skills. You have taken your team in the JTAC newspaper to new heights. Please help me welcome, or congratulate Cassie LeBay. And next I would like to invite Stephanie Chambers to recognize Fraternity and Sorority Life Awards. Good 
Good evening. My name is Stephanie Chambers, and I have the great honor of serving as Assistant Director for Fraternity and Sorority Life here on campus. The Fraternity and Sorority community is at Tarleton is comprised of 17 organizations and almost 800 students. They're one of the most visible and active groups on campus. Each year, the community as a whole hosts more than 500 events, serves thousands of community service hours, and raises money for their respective philanthropies. You've probably seen fraternity and sorority members at Texan Move-In, athletic events, serving in leadership roles across campus, playing intramurals, at homecoming events, and so much more. Our community members are able to accomplish all this while maintaining a higher GPA than non-Greek members and graduating at a higher rate than their non-Greek peers. None of this would be possible without the student leaders in place in our community. Each organization and each council has a team of dedicated leaders who make it their core mission to ensure their peers, brothers, and sisters have a meaningful membership experience during their time in a Greek letter organization at Tarleton State University. It is my pleasure to recognize this year's Greek Persons of the Year. Our first Greek Persons of the Year is Destiny Oni. During her time at Tarleton, Destiny has not shied away from leadership positions. She joined Sigma Alpha in spring of 2018 and previously served as Sigma Alpha's secretary and is currently in her second term as Sigma Alpha's chapter president. With Destiny as president, her chapter has doubled in size after a successful fall 2020 recruitment. The chapter has also come together and been more active on campus under Destiny's leadership. In 2019 and 2020, Destiny sat on the Intergreek Council Executive Board as the Intergreek Council President. She's also active on campus as a Tarleton Transition Mentor, the Student Director of Marketing for the Tarleton Activities Board, and is a member of Alpha Zeta. Her nominator said, Destiny is a friend to all. There's not anyone for whom she would not drop everything and lend a helping hand. She represents not only Greek life in the most positive way, but she also represents Tarleton in a way we can all only aspire to. Please help me congratulate Destiny. Our next Greek Persons of the Year is Kylie Sparks. Kylie joined FIMU in fall of 2018. She previously served as Fi served FIMU as a historian, treasurer, and is the current FIMU president. As a treasurer, she navigated her chapter through the start of COVID-19 crisis and was able to find efficient ways to budget the chapter monies, allowing the chapter to reduce the cost of dues for their sisters at a time when they needed it most. As a president, she aims to leave in a positive manner and lead by example. She made the president's position more approachable and active with the programs like Coffee Concerns, where each week she sits with five new members at Beans and Franks who may have questions or concerns. Kylie is also a member of the Tarleton American Marketing Association, part of the upper level honors college, and is active on campus in events like Tarleton Roundup and Intramurals. One nominator said, Kylie has been my role model in FIMU since I joined. She holds all of Tarleton's core values and works to stay positive within our chapter and motivates other girls to get involved on campus. She's a proud Tarleton Texan who bleeds purple. Please help me congratulate Kylie. The third and final Greek person of the year for 2021 is Lee Tyre. As a member of Delta Chi since spring 2019, Lee has been able to make an impact in his chapter and on campus. In Delta Chi, he served as associate member counselor, public relations chair, social media chair, the formal chair, and currently serves as chapter president. Under his direction as chapter president, Delta Chi has built a stronger bond with their alumni and successfully raised over $1,600 in alumni donations and restarted the quarterly chapter newsletter. He also encouraged his chapter members to be more involved on Tarleton's campus by leading the way and setting the example. Outside of Delta Chi, Lee is also an intern for Tarleton Athletics Department, a member of Phi Eta Sigma Honor Society, and previously served the Interfraternal Council on the Judicial Board. Because of his commitment to Delta Chi and Tarleton, Lee has successfully encouraged his chapter to become more active and visible participants in the greater Tarleton community while living at the Tarleton core values. Please help me congratulate Lee Tyre. And now I invite Mr. Daryl Brown to the podium to begin presenting the Individual Leadership and Service Awards.
Thank you, Ms. Chambers. The Freshman Leadership Award is presented to two first-year students who have demonstrated exemplary leadership and service through involvement and participation on campus. This year awards go to Kayla Key and Clara Welch. Give them a round of applause. Will you both come to the stage? Kayla is a member of Alpha Gamma Sorority, Tarleton Roundup, leadership team. Tarleton serves and is a student worker at the Southwest Regional Dairy Center. Kayla is very service oriented in her spare time. She donates to the Purple Pantry, the Erath County Humane Society, and never misses an opportunity to participate in trash pickup with her sorority. Claire Welch, she's a member of the Tarleton Activities Board, Sigma Alpha Sorority, and Pancas. Tarleton, the, the, the team that, the, boy, equestrian team, excuse me, and the student chapter of Wildlife Society. Claire is one of those individuals who's willing to help those around her. She's good with ideas and providing input for campus events. She is well donated. She donated to the Erath County Humane Society and was involved in the Girl Scouts of the Northeast Texas. Congratulations, Kayla and Claire. Next is our Sophomore Leadership Award that is presented to a second year student based on the hours who had demonstrated exemplary leadership and service through involvement and participation on campus. This year's winners are Aspen Hoover and Natalie Lopez. Will you please make your way to the stage? Aspen Hoover is majoring in agriculture education, which by the way, she is a year ahead of schedule. Aspen described her leadership journey the way, this way, and I quote, leadership to me is something that you learn based on the opportunities that you seek and the experiences you have to grow into to become a great leader. Aspen has definitely taken advantage of the opportunities. She has participated in Leadership 101, and she is an SGA freshman representative and a member of Sigma Alpha Sorority. Give her a round of applause, please. <laughs> Natalie Lopez. Natalie's our next sophomore leadership winner. She is a nursing major. The, purpose that submitted, the person that submitted her nomination stated that Natalie is the definition of a team player and a hard worker. She keeps a positive attitude in everything she does. Natalie is a member of the Tarleton Activities Board, a proud member of Alpha Omicron Pi Sorority, Residential Hall Association, and has participated in alternative spring break during the trip to Panama City, Florida. Congratulations to Aspen and Natalie. <laughs> the Wanda Mercer Legacy Award is named for a former Vice President of Student Affairs who served this institution for 19 years. There are three winners this year who have set positive examples for others to follow, and their involvement will last for years to come. The first winner of the Wanda Mercer Legacy Award goes to Devin Hughes. Devin, will you come to the stage? Devin's love for Tarleton came when he met one of the Purple Poo named Sister Valentine. Sister Valentine motivated him, motivated him to get involved and find his people on campus. From that little piece of motivation, Devin has been involved with RHA, Farmhouse Fraternity, Student Government Association, Tarleton Transition Mentor, and currently serves as the president for Tarleton Serve. Give Devin another round of applause. <laughs> Sadie Saxon, will you please come to the stage, please? Sadie has been involved in a number of out-of-classroom experiences such as Tarleton's Honors College, Delta Zeta Sorority, Tarleton Transition Mentor, and the Student Nurses Association. Sadie's favorite Tarleton core value is excellence. She said it's important to do even the smallest things the best of everyone's ability striving for excellence every day. Sadie is one who leads by example and hopes that if just one person was inspired or encouraged by her character, 
She has done her part as a Tarleton Texan. Give Sadie one more round of applause. Our next Wanda Mercer Legacy Award winner is Megan Scott. Megan, please come to the stage. <laughs> Megan has just recently completed her role as Tarleton Roundup Assistant Director for Volunteer Recruitment. Her job was to reach out to every organization on campus and recruit volunteers. This year during the pandemic, she was able to recruit 759 volunteers. Megan is also a member of Alpha Gamma Delta Sorority and has been part of the Tarleton Transition Mentor Program. Megan currently works for the Stephenville Parks and Recreation Department at, in their after school coordinator. Her volunteer work involvement is too large to list, but believe me when I say, Megan believes in service. Y'all give her another round of applause. <laughs> Next, we will move into our Graduate Student Leadership Awards which recognizes students who are currently working towards the completion of their master's degree. Being a graduate student is no easy task, and these individuals balance their academic expectations with professional and personal involvement. The winners of this year's Graduate Student Leadership Award are Cameron Elner, Alexis Serrano, and Joshua Willis. Will all three of you please come to the stage? Cameron Elner, he'll be first. He is pursuing a Master of Public Administration. Cameron's involvement consists of overseeing the Tarleton Purple Pantry and Text Connect initiatives. He has served in the Welcome Center as student director in the Office of New Student Programs. He's a former student government member and served as a chaperone for the Special Olympics State Track Meet. Give one more round of applause to Cameron Elner. Next is Alexis Soriano. Alexis, if you'll come forward, please. <laughs> Alexis is a first-generation graduate student taking nine hours of grad school while working three jobs and has a 4.0 GPA. Yes. Not only is she dedicated to her academics, Alexis has served as a peer tutor at the Tarrant County College and for Eagle Mountain Saginaw ISD. She is currently serving as the Vice President of the Tarrant County College Criminal Justice Club and volunteers with the Tarrant County College Police Academy. Give Alexis one more round of applause. <laughs> Joshua Willis, please come forward. <laughs> Joshua is pursuing his Master's in Kinesiology. Mr. Willis is a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, where he has served as president. Josh is a member of the Black Student Union, and he has been on the Dean's Honor Roll numerous times. And if he looks familiar to you, well, you guessed it. Josh is the official DJ for our student events. The person that nominated Josh for this award stated that Josh's dedication to his academics, his extracurricular activities, have exceeded superb. Congratulations to you, Joshua. Yeah, yes, yes, you got it, you got it. Congratulations, Joshua. Next will be our Impact Award. This award acknowledges and honors the efforts of students committed to excelling academically and contributing positively to campus through student involvement while balancing various roles in a non-traditional student. Our first recipient of the Impact Award is Laura Dobson. Laura, will you make your way to the stage, please? <laughs> Laura is a senior majoring in marketing with plans after graduation to begin her master's. Laura, Laura's one nomination wrote, is an exceptional student. She is a single mother with beautiful children. She has experienced poverty, she dropped out of high school due to life circumstances, but has worked her way to the top as an outstanding student in the College of Business. Matter of fact, she will have the highest institutional and overall GPA of the marketing majors graduating in May. Give her a round of applause. 
and she has led the efforts to develop the Tarleton, Tarleton Project, which is a student-run business, while also being an active participant of the market, American Marketing Association of Tarleton. Congratulations, Laura. Our next recipient of the Impact Award is Ser Serenity Edward. Give Serenity a round of applause, please. Serenity is unable to be with us this evening, but let me explain why the committee chose her. Serenity is an Army veteran and a disability survivor. Married 20 years to her husband, Antonio, she lives in the heart of Central Texas. Ms. Edwards suffered a severe medical condition that led her to researching alternative rehabilitation methods known as yoga. Through her journey with yoga, she has become certified and now has her own yoga studio. One of her goals is to pursue a degree in clinical psychology at Tarleton so that she can assist people in maintain wellness through mind and body. Serenity volunteers at the food banks in Bell County, so let's give Serenity another round of applause. The Earl Rudder Award. This award recognizes individuals who put their heart and soul into everything they do. The students often work behind the scenes and routinely go above and beyond typical requirements. Mentors and supports, encourages and inspires the organization, members or other students. These students are deserving of the recognition because of their incredible work ethic, which makes a difference. This year's Earl Rudder Award winners are Tony Eads and Jenna Lawhorn. Please come to the stage. <laughs> Tony is a junior, major in accounting. She put everything into what she does and accomplishes. She is a member of the Tarleton's Activity Board and has a part-time job. She is one of those students who arrives early and stays late. She volunteers at a nursing home, and during Christmas, she helps provide presents to the less fortunate. Give another round for Tony Eads. <laughs> Jenna. Jenna is a junior majoring in ag education, has just recently completed serving as the assistant director of outreach for Tarleton Roundup. She is part of the Panhellenic Council and is a member of Alpha Gamma Delta Sorority. Jenna was described as a selfless student leader and servant who puts the needs of others and the organization before her own. Congratulations to you both. <laughs> Next, we have the Advocate Award. This evening, we have two outstanding students who will receive this award. The Advocate acknowledges and honors the efforts of students who strive to promote, understand, and appreciation of diversity, and inclusion through leadership, advocacy, and education. You can find these individuals promoting social justice and or fostering an understanding between diverse constituencies through valuing diversity and appreciating multiple identities. The winners for the Advocate Award are Sarah Rodriguez and Shallow Stalka. Please come to the stage. As both of you make your way to the stage, let me share some reasons why they are the advocates. Sarah is the president and founder of the American Sign Language Club. She strives in making sure Tarleton community is fully educated on the deaf community. She serves in SGA as a congressperson for multicultural students and has passed legislation for the deaf community and the improvement of closed captions. Sarah is a member of the Baptist Student Ministry and leads Bible study groups and advocates on mission trips. Congratulations, Sarah. Next is Shiloh Stalkup. Give her a round of applause, yes. Shiloh is a junior majoring in interdisciplinary studies. She is a member of the Tarleton's Activity Board where she advocated and implemented an idea during Spirit Day by creating pronoun buttons for students and faculty attending the event. She felt it was important to help others use correct pronouns when addressing attendees. Shiloh is a residential leader, a member of the Tarleton Professional Educators, and the Presidential Advisory Board of Diversity and Inclusion, and a member of the Renaissance Scholars Program. Let's congratulate Sarah and Shiloh. <laughs> Leadership in athletics. Tarleton State University is a proud member of the Western Athletic Conference Division I. Give me a round of applause. And tonight, we recognize two student athletes who have represented as well with their high standards of teamwork. 
integrity, leadership, and sportsmanship in academics as well as athletic achievements. Our first award recipient goes to Bonnie Clifton. <laughs> Ms. Clifton is a freshman majoring in Ag Services and Development with a teacher certification and is involved in the women's track and field team along with Charlton Activities Board where she volunteers by planning and organizing events for students. Let's give Bonnie a round of applause, please. The next award winner in the leadership of athletics is Cecilia Vaudia. Cecilia, would you come to the stage? <laughs> Cecilia is described as a quiet leader, choosing to lead by example instead of her voice. Cecilia is a sophomore majoring in kinesiology and has an outstanding academic GPA of a 3.7. Please help me congratulate. Cecilia Vaudio. Congratulations. Our next award this evening is the W.O. and Flo Trogdon Individual Service Award. As I mentioned earlier, W.O. Trogdon served this institution as the 12th president along with his lovely wife, Ms. Flo Trogdon for 16 years. It was under Dr. Trogdon's leadership in 1973 that we moved to Tarleton State University. Their son, Steve, a proud Tarleton alumnus, and his wife, Sherry, is in the audience. And Steve has joined us now on the stage, so thank you. This year's W.O. and Flo Trogdon Individual Service Award goes to Allison Knowles. Allison is a senior education major. She serves as a residential leader, a TTM, and also the student director for the Texan Reps organization. She volunteers back home for the rodeo in Waco at the stock show and rodeo. But not only does she volunteer there, her work as a Texan rep is 100% volunteerism. Allison, thank you for sharing your love and passion for Tarleton by helping prospective students and guests feel welcome. Let's give her another round of applause. Mr. Trogdon, thank you. The last award I will present this evening is the May Jones Advisor of the Year. The May Jones Advisor of the Year recognizes a person who serves voluntarily as an advisor to, be, to recognize student organization. This person allows the students to take responsibility for their own learning, provides advice, encouragement, and support while exemplifying the, the university core values. This year's winner of the May Jones Advisor of the Year Award goes to Dr. Cheyenne Runyon. Thank you. Dr. Runyon is the Assistant Professor in Animal Science and Veterinary Technology and advises Charlton Block and Bridal. I like what the nomination said about Dr. Runyon, and I quote, in an organization with 45 members, we don't always see eye to eye, but Dr. Runyon has a great way of bringing us together to get things planned and done. Without her wisdom and le leadership, we wouldn't be where they are today. Congratulations to Dr. Runyon. Now, Dr. Runyon couldn't be with us this evening as she is with the Block and Bridal at their national convention, but accepting the award on her behalf is Bailey Hewton, and Bailey is a graduate assistant. Please congratulate Dr. Runyon again. <laughs> Bailey, thank you for being here. It is my privilege now to invite Erica Key, Graduate Assistant of Leadership and Service Programs, to present our organizational awards. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Greetings and congratulations to all award winners. This evening, I have the privilege which Mr. Brown calls a learning opportunity to present the organizational awards. The first award is the W.O. and Flo Trogdon Organizational Service Award. Mr. T 
Steve Trogdon has already been introduced, so I want to invite you to the stage to assist in this presentation. Oops. He has already done so. Um, <laughs> This year's winner of the WO and Flo Trogdon Organizational Service Award goes to Alpha Phi Omega Fraternity. Would the members of APO please come to the stage? Yeah, you guys can all come. Come on down. APO, founded in October 1963, is one of the oldest recognized student organizations on campus. This group of students amazes me for their continued dedication to service. APO logged 842 hours of community service performing projects such as pumpkins for puppies, highway trash cleanups, river walk trails, first responders project, and many others. Congratulations, APO, for continuing to serve. Program of the Year. This award recognizes a program that is open to all students and student organizations. This program must fall within Tarleton's vision to be a comprehensive regional public institution in Texas and beyond. It is my privilege to, to present the Program of the Year Award to Tarleton Activities Board for hosting the Welcome Back Bash. Welcome Back Bash is formerly known as the Street Dance. This was an event that needed modifying to enforce our social distancing COVID-19 restrictions. The Welcome Back Bash was a concert held during tra Transition Week, which featured Cottonwood Crows, Kristen Merlin, and Tarleton's very own DJ Josh Willis. This event had approximately 881 students attend. Congratulations, TAB. Our next award is named after the late Colonel Will L. Tate, who was a former student athlete and generous benefactor of Tarleton. The Colonel Will L. Tate Organization of the Year Award is given to a recognized student organization that demonstrates the importance of campus life by sponsoring projects, activities, programs, and involvement. This year's award winner is Delta Zeta. Delta Zeta this chapter began at Tarleton in 1985. They have 117 members with a GPA standard of a 2.7 or higher, which, was, which has won them the highest GPA for the past 15 years at Tarleton. Delta Zeta women have continued to represent their organization by serving as Grasper, as residential leaders, TTM, Campus Rec, and Move In. Please help me congratulate the women of Delta Zeta. The next award is the Senator Robert J. Glasgow Award. It is named after Tarleton alumnus from Stephenville who served as a Texas Senator from 1989 to 19, 1981, excuse me, to 1993. This award is presented to a community, business, organization, or individual who has supported student projects and activities through contri contribution of time, experience, or financial resources. This year's award recipient goes to Ace Hardware, the Dowell Company Incorporated. The Dowell's owner of Ace Hardware have been long time and continued supporters of Tarleton Roundup. Tarleton Roundup held its 23rd year and as far back as my memory can go, Ace Hardware has helped to secure the necessity tool, necessary tools to help students give back to this community. Thank you, Ace Hardware and the Dowells for your support uh, to make this event happen. We will make sure that this award gets to them. Now I would like to invite <laughs> Ms. Renee Lane, President of Tarleton's Alumni Association, to give out our next award.
<laughs> it's, it's true. It's true. Um, hello, I'm Renee Lane. I'm the president of Tarleton Alumni Association and also a former recipient of the John Tarleton Spirit Award. So I haven't been here since 99 when I received the award. I've been back to Tarleton plenty, but not here. <laughs> Tonight, um, I'm here to represent the Alumni Association and really excited to present our Keeper of the Gates Award. This award goes to a student who has given back to Tarleton just as much as Tarleton has given to them. And the winner of this award this year is Juan Garcia. Mr. Garcia, will you please come to the stage? <laughs> Mr. Garcia is receiving his master's in history. Since coming to campus in the fall of 2010, he has been highly involved in assisting our veterans, serving on student government as the chief justice and the Tarleton Rifle Team and the Tarleton Veterans Association. Juan helped to design and create a scholarship for veterans and their dependents, as well as creating a Purple Heart painted parking spots on campus for our student veterans. Mr. Garcia, thank you for your service and congratulations. I would also like to make one more little announcement to you, Juan. As part of this award, he will also be receiving an official Tarleton ring. At this time, can I please have Stephanie Chambers to the podium? Hello again. In addition to my role as Assistant Director of Fraternity and Sorority Life, I also have the great pleasure of serving as the advisor of the Purple Poo. The TTS and the TTP are most commonly referred to as the Purple Poo, or a staple in campus life at Tarleton. Each year, the 20 members of the Poo forego a normal student experience and volunteer hundreds of hours to help promote and further the spirit of Tarleton State University. A common phrase you will hear when referring to the Poo is, it's not about who's behind the mask, which is true. It's about the organization's ability to encourage involvement and make connections all over campus. However, this is an exciting time of year because the faces behind the masks are revealed and the campus community gets to honor and celebrate the students' time and dedication to the Tarleton Purple Poo. It is my honor to recognize the TTS and TTP graduating seniors for keeping the spirit of Oscar P. and traditions of Tarleton alive. Please come forward when I call your name and if y'all will stay on stage as a group um, so y'all can get a group photo with Dr. Hurley and Dr. Siren afterwards as well. First, we have Brendan Gore. Brendan Gore, also known as Brother Brain Cell. Brendan is a construction science and management major from Tomball, Texas. He's been a member since spring 2019 and served as a TTP president in spring 2021. Next is Ann Wilkins. Ann Wilkins was Sister G. Raff. She's a public relations and event management major from Pflugerville, Texas, and has been a member since spring of 2019. Next, we have Stephen Reeves. <laughs> Stephen Reeves, also known as Brother Potato, is a kinesiology major from League City, Texas. He's been a member since spring 2019. Stephen is also a member of our football team, and he's moving a little bit slower than normal after a recent injury. <laughs> Next is Madison Talbert. Thank you. 
Madison Talbert, also known as Sister Holiday, is a psychology major from Holland, Texas. She's been a member since spring 2019, and in fall 2020, she was the TTS president. Next, we have Hunter Brummett. Hunter Brummett, also known as Scooby Pooh, a business management major from Point, Texas. He's been a member since spring of 2019. Jordan David. Jordan David was also known as Sister Stuck. She's a general business, major, general business major from Pilot Point, Texas. She's been a member since spring 2020 and served as a TTS president in spring of 2021. Next we have Michael Petulia. Michael was also known as Brother Brass. He's a nursing major from San Antonio, Texas, been a member since spring of 2019, and served as a TTP president in fall of 2020. <laughs> Mr. Hayden Parker. Hayden Parker, also known as Brother Bob, is an Ag Industries and Agencies major from Perrin, Texas. He's been a member since spring of 2019. Next, we have Britt Robinson. Brett Robinson, or Brother Stewart, was a kinesiology major from Ennis, Texas, and he has been a member of the TTP since spring of 2019. And finally, we have Lisa Cronin. Lisa was also known as Sister Mop during her time in the poo. She's a business major with a minor in kinesiology from Mineral Wells, Texas. Lisa has been a member of the TTS since spring of 2019. Congratulations, John. Thank you for your service. And I'd like to welcome Dr. Kelly Siren back to the podium as she presents our final awards for the evening. And now for the final awards of the evening, the John Tarleton Spirit Award. The John Tarleton Spirit Award is considered to be one of the most pre prestigious recognitions a student can receive at Tarleton State University. It is awarded to deserving seniors who clearly demonstrate leadership and service. These students have dedicated themselves to this university and made their mark on Tarleton State history. 
Each recipient will receive a framed certificate that is a replica of the original Tarleton Diploma and a distinctive Tarleton watch, which you will need to stop by the Leadership and Service Office later to receive. Please remain on stage until all winners have been announced for a group photo. Hannah Ballman is our first recipient. That's Hannah. Hannah. Okay, sorry, Hannah. Hannah, as most of you know, is the Grasper Editor-in-Chief. She has worked for the JTAC and Grasper since her sophomore year. Hannah says her, favorite, says her favorite is that there's no better place to be than overseeing the publications that are so rich in heritage as the JTAC and Grasper. Hannah is a member of Delta Zeta Sorority, where she has held various positions in and for Panhellenic Council. She has been an activist on campus for mental health awareness by giving presentations to both fraternities and sororities. Please help us congratulate Hannah. Jacqueline Brewer, will you please come to the stage as our next Tarleton Spirit John Tarleton Spirit Award winner. Jacqueline has definitely been involved at Tarleton. She is a member of the Honors College, Honors College Student Association, Phi Eta Sigma Honors Society, Alpha Epsilon Delta, the National Society of Leadership and Success, Alpha Gamma Delta Sorority, American Sign Language Club, Tarleton Transition Mentor, and Tarleton Roundup Leadership Team. In most of these organizations, she has served in leadership capacities and even had time to participate in alternative spring break. Let's congratulate Jacqueline. Okay. Our next recipient is Briley Beal. Briley just completed her term as Tarleton Roundup Director, having served Tarleton Roundup for three years. Service has been Briley's passion. She puts her heart and soul into serving others. Briley is a member of Alpha Gamma Delta Sorority. She has served as a TTM, bonfire volunteer, farmhouse sweetheart, and in her spare time, she works for Harbor Lakes Golf Club as an event coordinator. Please help me congratulate Briley. Our next award recipient is Daisy Cordona. <laughs> Daisy is a senior nursing major set to graduate in December. She is a member of Delta Phi Epsilon and has served two years as a Tarleton Transition Mentor as well as orientation staff for a year. Daisy has been active serving both on, on and off campus opportunities. Her volunteer experience includes the Stephenville Food Pantry, the Flu Shock Clinic, Texan move-in, highway cleanups, and last but not least, Tarleton Roundup. Please help us congratulate Daisy. <laughs> Kelsey Dvorak, will you come to the stage and be recognized? Kelsey took her leadership opportunities to the fullest. After reviewing all of her accomplishments as well as others, I am amazed. Kelsey is a member of Delta Zeta, and within that organization, she has served in various capacities. There's one that I would like to visit with you later about called the Sunshine Committee. That sounds very interesting, and I might want to be on that committee. Kelsey's other campus involvement includes SGA Health and Science and Human Services Congressperson, Panhellenic Recruitment Counselor, Homecoming Queen nominee for 2019, and Dr. Hurley, Kelsey served on the Presidential Inauguration Committee. Let's congratulate Kelsey. Our next award recipient is set to graduate in December 2021, a semester early. She has been on the Dean's List every semester and has made the President's List a couple of times. She is a member of Alpha Gamma Delta as well as serving as a TTM, donating to the Purple Pan Food Pantry, the Erath County Humane Society, and has served as the Cal Kappa Delta Rho Sweetheart, along with also being a 2021 Homecoming Queen nominee. This John Tarleton Spirit Award goes to Emily Kaler. Emily, will you please come to the stage?
Kendall Lyle, will you come to the stage to receive your award? In Ms. Lyle's application, this story was shared and I must share it with you. In the fall of 2018, Ms. Lyle had just begun her position as a residential leader. In fact, it was the first day of school. As she started to exit the building, she noticed a resident staring into space. When she approached the person to ask how he was, he began to tell his story, which had been a scary experience for him. Once he was finished and she acknowledged his concern, Kendall knew that she was in the right place doing the right thing, serving others. Kendall is involved in many organizations and has served in various capacities within Alpha Gamma Delta. Let's congratulate Kendall. Our next recipient is Adrian Manning. Adrian, or A-Train, as you may know him, is a senior kinesiology major who started his leadership journey with mental freedom. Adrian has served as a TTM, orientation leader, student government association, and is currently the co-vice president of Freshman Representative Council. A-Train has served as a residential leader on TAB and is very active with Timber Ridge on campus, also known as T-Rock. Please help us congratulate Adrian. Patricia McMillan, will you please make your way to the stage as our next recipient of the John Tarleton Spirit Award. Patricia has completed her college experience in three years. She is a member of FIMU Sorority, holding several leadership positions, as well as being a TTM, Tarleton Roundup Leadership Team, a Purple Pantry student worker, and is currently serving as an events intern at Rough Creek Lodge and Resort. I'd like to share with you Patricia's public testimony about Tarleton. She says, and I quote, for those who do know me, they know that I wouldn't have blossomed as much as I did if it wasn't for this school. I found myself through this university, and for that I am forever grateful. There's so much this university has given me, and as I have given back all my time, I do not know how I can ever return the favor completely. Let's congratulate Patricia. Our next recipient is Jonathan Daniel Mendoza. Daniel is a senior communications major with a concentration in public relations and event management and with a minor in tech writing and business. Daniel is a first generation Hispanic male student who has definitely left a legacy for others to follow. He is creative, efficient, reliable, and trustworthy. Daniel has served on the President's Student Diversity Advisory Committee, the President's Student Inauguration Committee, and was critical in creating the student section called Purple Rain. Daniel is a member of Lambda Chi Alpha fraternity, a Tarleton transition mentor, and Tarleton Roundup leadership team member. Sandra Nava, will you please come to the stage and join this group as you're our next winner. I've had several occasions to interact with Sandra and have found her to be a great example to all who know her. She has led the charge for the Tarleton Parents Association as well as organizing the TPA annual scholarship reception and has developed the TPA's first $1,000 endowed scholarship. Thank you and congratulations. The person who nominated our next award recipient stated that this person was the hardest behind the scenes worker he has ever known. This person never complains, always has a bright mood, and definitely a contagious smile and optimism. Athena Orsa, will you come to the stage as our next award recipient? <laughs> Athena has served as the chief of Tarleton's, the chief of staff for Tarleton Student Government Association. She has served on the University Student Fee Committee, Tarleton's Chancellor's Advisory Board, Texan Rep, 
and is tar in Tarleton Club Soccer. She is an unpaid intern with Countryside Therapy Group, as one day she aspires to own, own her own occupational therapist clinic that specifically works with special needs. Please help me congratulate Athena. Dakota Overall is our next award recipient. Dakota, please come forward and be recognized. <laughs> Dakota will soon graduate with her degree in animal science with emphasis in pre-vet and double minoring in chemistry and biology. Dakota has been a member of Delta Zeta Sorority since 2017 and has immersed herself in leadership opportunities within that organization. She has served other organizations such as TREAT, Tarleton's Rehabilitation Equine Occupational Therapy Program, PERS and SPURS. She served as a TTM and a T-Week leader. Let's congratulate Dakota. Our next recipient shared in his testimony that he fell in love with Tarleton when he stepped on campus for the first time as a senior in high school. And once he attended duck camp on a whim, he met his mentor who is now his best lifelong friend and roommate. That experience has led him to join Farmhouse Fraternity where he has served in various capacities. He has served as a TTM, Tarleton Roundup Leadership Team member for two years, and in his spare time, he works as a high school umpire for TASO. Carter Pritchard, please come to the stage to receive your award. Annabelle Sherrill is our final student John Tarleton recipient this evening. Oh. <laughs> Annabelle is a senior and she is a member of the Student Government Association, Renaissance Scholars, Tarleton's first honor college mentor, Tarleton's student support services, and Tarleton Gay Straight Alliance member. Annabelle is to be thanked for writing a piece of legislation that provided changes to the Wellness Center to accommodate students during flu season and a 24-hour nursing advice line. Congratulations to Annabelle. She was unable to be here tonight, but we will make sure that she gets her award. And let's congratulate all of our award winners this evening. Congratulations. Before I conclude my part this evening, I would like to give out one more award to two individuals who have been consistent supporters of all things student affairs. These individuals have served the university as educators, mentors, ambassadors, supporters, and true examples of investing in everything purple and white. This year, Student Affairs is proud to present honorary John Tarleton Spirit Certificates to Dr. Dennis Jones and Dr. Ann Albrecht. Will you please come to the stage and let us recognize you.
I would like to thank the leadership and service frater and fraternity and sorority life office for organizing tonight's banquet. Last year we hosted it virtually, but we are so glad to be able to recognize our students in person this spring. Thank you all for being here. I want to especially thank the Thompson Student Center campus operations crew, Joey McReynolds and David Betts for the awesome work with the live stream for those who weren't able to be here tonight. And last but not least, each of you in student affairs for always going the extra mile. This concludes our program. Have a great evening. Thank you very much for coming.